Hello everyone, welcome. Sebastian here from MobiFlight. Good to see you on my channel. This is the first uh, development update video that I'm ever making. I thought it would be uh, worth it to provide you with some updates that have happened since the last official release, which happened in January 14th. So today is February 17th, almost four weeks um, since that. And a lot of cool stuff has happened and will happen. So watch this video to the end to be up to date with everything cool going on in the MobiFlight universe. Okay, so let's start with the first thing. So there was, after this great release, uh, we unfortunately had to publish four hotfixes, which is uh, not very typical. Uh, and I always try to avoid um, uh, releasing hotfixes. So what is a hotfix actually? A hotfix means that you, were so nice to tell us about some bugs that you have encountered in the last release and they were so dramatic or they were so urgent um, that when fixed then immediately these fixes should also be pushed out so that is what a hotfix is about you uh, see that or you can tell it's a hotfix because uh, if the official release is 10.1 and then the first hotfix is going to be 10.1.1 and the second 10.1.2. So always the third number of the releases marks a hotfix. And yeah, it's not so much fun to make them, uh, but uh, obviously if we have to prioritize it that way and if, we, if it's a critical um, issue, then uh, we want to take care as soon as possible. And we had uh, four in total, as I already said. Um, there were some things related to FSU IPC, and I'm very sorry that this got missed on the original release. I have to uh, say that like most of the times I'm testing with Microsoft Flights in 2020 and not so much using the FSU IPC offsets, but Nevertheless, you told us that you found some issues, we fixed them, and then they were pushed out really quickly. There was also something related to the German user interface translation, which unfortunately it's also easy to miss for me when I'm testing or when we are testing during the beta phase. So please German speaking users who are using the German UI, some of you, it would be nice if you also can um, sign up for the beta and uh, let me know if we miss to um, translate a user interfaces or sometimes also break just at the German user interface side. Um, it's easy to miss that during our testing when we're using the English user interface. And uh, the last hotfix was about some um, issues that very few users reported we had to recompile the WASM module with uh, the latest SDK from Microsoft Flight Sim, and then it would work stably. So yeah, it shows we are ready to do it. So we are prepared to provide hotfixes. We also take it on if something critical is reported, then we try to fix it as soon as possible. And if a fix is available and ready to be shipped, then we provide a hotfix release. So thanks for supporting us with this. And thanks for being a little bit patient because you saw this pop-up dialog uh, quite, uh, quite often uh, last time after the release. So after a hotfix talk, uh, let's talk about some stuff that was uh, more pleasant. Uh, it was a X-Plane Developer Summit in Montreal, and I had the great opportunity to fly there and meet the X-Plane team and also meet other X-Plane developers uh, who do scenery development, who do plane add-on development, or like Bill Goods, who is the guy who is maintaining Fly with Lua, or Meet Lee Baker, who is uh, the guy behind the DataRef tool, all tools that we are using. 
So it was really incredibly nice to meet all these people in person. Uh, the Explain team shared uh, over the course of these two days a roadmap updates with every one of us. One you already heard it is about the new built-in shop into Explain. Um, so basically the store right built into Explain so that the entire add-on management will be easier. And uh, they also shared, uh, besides some other changes that are you know, rendering related and performance related, they also uh, were sharing some insights on a new API for accessing data refs. And this is then territory which becomes interesting for MobiFlight specifically. Uh, they're using WebSockets and REST APIs as a new mean to get access to this data, which is um, standard web technology, which is really exciting. And I'm very looking forward to trying this out myself. And then very, very likely also using this new, um, you know, like more modern way of getting the data in and out of, into and out of my um, explain. So that was definitely worth it. As a side note or a little like story, uh, unfortunately the travel was really, really tough. I mean, think about it, it was only like the weekend being there, spending some uh, hours basically in Montreal. And on top of that, also the German staff, the security staff at all the airports in Germany on Thursday, the original day when I was supposed to fly out, all the flights were canceled in Germany, so I had to postpone it by one day. And yes, it was quite stressful, but at the same time, uh, also very nice to meet all of them. And it was good to connect with new people from the X-Plane ecosystem and uh, create awareness about MobiFlight in that context. Talking about meetups, there is a very, very important one uh, coming up very soon. Uh, I'm looking at the date, it's the 17th and uh, it's exactly four weeks out from now that we are all going to meet, uh, at least all of you who make it to FS Weekend, yeah? FS Weekend 2024 in Lillestad at the airport museum there. It's a fantastic event. So many nice people. It's great to meet every one of you. On our Discord in MobiFlight, we have a special channel created for it. There is already a lot of excitement going on that we're going to see each other in person. Yeah, we will use the Saturday um, afternoon or evening uh, to uh, meet spontaneously there and have some drinks together. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And the MobiFlight crew will also be there um, so basically the European part of the Moby Flight crew is able to make it to FS Weekend. That will be Thomas, of course, yeah, our hardware and design guru. And then we have uh, Raffler, aka um, Sergey, who is Mr. Hop Hop. And uh, Ralph is going to be there, Mr. Firmware, who is um, helping so nicely and a lot with the firmware part of Moby Flight, and I myself too. And for the first time ever, we are going to host Moby Flight workshops, which allow people who have never tried building something uh, on their on their own will explain them how you get started with building cockpit elements cockpit components using obviously Moby Fly technology which makes it incredibly easy and I hope that everyone walks away with this insight hey I can build something for myself and I uh, it's not rocket science yeah and they take what they build in the workshop home with them and can uh, start you know, like using it for themselves at home and uh, adding more things to it. So if you have a friend or maybe if you yourself would like to try out um, building something for your simulator, then this is a great opportunity. Use the FS uh, Weekend website or yeah, to find the link for the sign up. Everything goes through the Mobi Flight Shop or you can also go to the Mobi Flight Shop directly. You should find a sign up. I will actually put it in the description here. I think that makes a lot of sense and I, I would be um, yeah, very glad to see some of you joining us 
in these workshops. Thomas has also prepared some really cool stuff. He will bring his GNC uh, 225, is it correct? Or 255? Yeah, the GNC 255, sorry. I'm sitting too long already in my basement here mixing up numbers. And this is really going to be cool because it illustrates how to use custom devices, this new feature from uh, one of the last releases in Mobi Flight, to build some exciting and really extremely good looking stuff, which you can actually then also buy at the venue. And uh, the same thing is also true for um, Ralph. He's going to bring some cool stuff. Uh, to showcase some of his demonstrators, some of the things that he uses for development, for testing. And I will also bring a lot of hardware and also items that you can get on the MobiFlight shop so that you can take a close look, that you can touch everything, that we can try out, that we can talk home cockpit stuff at the booth or maybe in the afternoon, in the evening, then later together outside um, once the show is over for the Saturday. And uh, was there anything else? I don't think so, not for the FS weekend, but there is another topic that I was working on. Um, that is USB HID device integration with MobiFlight. Yeah, so think about your Logitech module if you have one of those, like the multi-panel where you have these displays or your light switch panel or whatever they have with these LEDs going on and off. And MobiFlight so far is not capable of talking to these devices more natively, yeah. But I had the opportunity to spend some extra time on this topic. And I have to say, I now understand USB descriptors and HID devices and all these formats very well. And I can promise you that very soon, not maybe for the next release, but for the release thereafter, there is going to be a better USB device support included into Mobi Flight which will then integrate more of your components that you have already in your cockpit. And then you can really use MobiFlight as one tool to manage them all and configure them all. And that's going to be very, very cool. And uh, hopefully with a nice user experience. Talking about new features, so that reminds me of the beta release that we did just a couple of days ago. It is the beta 10.1.4.2. Uh, so here the scheme is uh, the two, it's always four digits um, that we have for the beta versions. And we already had two since the last release. And it's also really including some cool stuff. What I'm happy about is to see that our partners who decided to onboard their products in the last release, they are providing configuration updates for their products. An additional feature already available in the beta is the string support that we can use now to read text from the WASA module and uh, from Microsoft Flights in 2020, which also Thomas is using for the GNC 255 to show station information of the currently dialed in frequencies and stuff. So pretty cool. Um, also reminds me that the beta shows us that there is a lot of contribution from the community. Not only I am working on MobiFlight, it's also other people, community members who are passionate about MobiFlight who like to contribute, which is amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, I believe that was it, what I wanted to mention about the beta. So it's going to be... Um, probably another seven days of beta time until it is ripe enough and tested uh, well enough to be released as the new upcoming 10.2. So be patient for another uh, couple of days. And then this will also be um, publicly, publicly available to everyone. Just recently on Wednesday, there was something also out of the ordinary that happened to me. I was invited to a podcast session, a German podcast uh, by a cruise level. That's uh, what the website is called. And the team is the Simulanten, the Simulators. It a very, it's a very fun group. Um, so I was uh, spending with them like 90 minutes on the uh, Valentine's Day in the basement. Everyone in their own basements we had uh, connected through Discord. And we had a really great chat and a lot of laughs and a lot of fun in this session. And is going to air on Sunday uh, tomorrow. I have to look at the date. So that will be Sunday, February 18th. Um, 
And yeah, I'm very curious to see how much feedback there is going to be in the German community. I'm really looking forward to it. Now we're coming to the last item on this list that I had prepared for this video. And it's actually the one that I um, am most excited about. Uh, I'm always excited, but this really kind of, you know, is so, so uh, special. So I decided to take off two months from work to dedicate these two months exclusively, really exclusively to the development of Moby Flight. And I'm really happy about this choice. And I'm also very thankful that I was able to uh, get the permission from work to do that. And uh, yeah, what's why am I doing this? Because I had this like long dream of renewing the uh, MobiFlight user interface. It's something that you have heard me talking about. Uh, if you were with me, maybe like uh, on the Discord session voice or whatever, then you know that this was always something that I wanted to do. And I know it's a huge undertaking and it's uh, requiring focus time. And I was not, I would not be able to just do it in the evening hours. So I decided to make this step, take off uh, from work for two months and uh, spend this time on developing MobiFlight and making this dream come true, which is super cool, obviously, for everyone who uses the MobiFlight uh, software because, yeah, the UI was a little outdated. I started like 13 years ago with it uh, and so on and so forth. So everything grew organically. <sighs> yeah, you can tell, you can tell. But now it's going to be a brand new stack from scratch, everything new, using modern web technology. Super, super cool. Um, it's not only going to be looking great, it's not only going to be feeling great, it actually will also be um, very useful to um, during the development process because now I can test the user interface automatically with every release, with every change that I make, uh, do regression tests and make sure that I'm not breaking something that already has used to work. This is something I'm not able to do at the moment at all. And then uh, another benefit it is also since this is going to be uh, standard web technology, I hope for more people being able to help me, you know, chime in, collaborate, contribute to the UI side of Mobi Flight, where the old framework that I was using was definitely a hurdle, uh, you know, a roadblock that people would have to learn first and overcome, and you know, so. I'm really looking forward to this and I will be posting more information about this also. So please stay tuned. Um, it's actually a great um, moment to remind you that here somewhere there should be like subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video and also make sure uh, to let me know if you like this kind of information. Also, it's a great chance right now for you to uh, show me how much you like a Mobi flight and how much you also like this idea of uh, getting the Mobi flight user interface to the next level. So I'm taking off of work. Obviously, this is all my personal expense. I would be very thankful and happy to receive uh, support, financial support through GitHub sponsorships and uh, PayPal donations from you. That would be really amazing and also a very encouraging feedback to see that you also like this idea of bringing MobiFlight to the next level. And um, with this, I believe it's a great also moment to say um, this is it for today. That was all the updates that I had prepared that I brought uh, here as content for this video. And I'm uh, going to then release soon a release review video for the next upcoming release. And I hope to see everyone who can make it to Lelystad FS weekend there in person. And if not, I hope to see you on our Discord server where we have this amazing community come together and uh, exchange information and show their progress on their projects, help each other out if they have, have a problem. And um, obviously also big thank you and shout out to the incredible MobiFlight moderator team who are doing a fantastic uh, job on supporting you guys there. See you soon. Bye-bye.